She normally lives in Washington, D.C., but today she's here, here on the curvy See couch. I wanted to make sure that the couch was still going to be here after the <laughs> shutdown. I heard they were going to turn into a plaid, like a really like, like 70s, like orange shag carpet. We were going to sell it. It's, it's your same deal as it was you know, a couple weeks yeah, ago. Pretty much. Here. So what's the deal, Laura? What's, what's it make sense of this? We've been through shutdowns before. Yeah. You've lived in the middle yeah. of them. Well, what first of all, there's one? no traffic, so Washington is much more oh, that's a good thing. livable. <laughs> I can't wait to get back today. Look, when, when the president came out yesterday and he went through the list of what wasn't going to change, he said, well, we'll have air traffic controllers, Medicare, you got to go to a doctor, right. Social Security, military is going to get paid, post office is going to work. I was sitting there going, wait a second, he's making the case for the Republicans. This right. sounds pretty good. I mean, government has gotten so big and so bloated and so completely out of control right. that you can shut down the government. And most people, of course, well, don't feel the pain. Doug no. McGillery just alluded to a, yeah. a house divided, right? A sure. divided government. Yep. Our president promised us that he would come in and make make that better. Yeah. You know, not go. What better cause than our health care? Yep. What better cause in the financial situation of our nation to get in there and make them get along and get something done that works for us? Yeah, but think about that leverage uh, that each party has right now. Uh, it is not surprising at all that the president won't engage with Republicans, and that Reid won't engage with Republicans in any meaningful way. Right. They feel like it's not, it wasn't the countdown to shutdown. Everyone had the icon on the screen yesterday, yeah. all the yeah. cables. This is, in my mind, countdown to cave in because there will only be it'll, a matter of time, in my mind, before the Republicans say, we can't keep doing this because the sob stories are going to start coming out. You're going to have uh, camera camera crews on, on on veterans counseling centers where you're going to interview. Oh, you're, you know, you're not, your appointment's canceled today. Who do you blame? And they're going to sure. say, well, they'll say, well, Washington. But I think the Republicans are going to feel the heat more than the Democrats. Well, do you, does that mean they played it wrong? Well, look, I. I we got here because the establishment has failed the people. I think left and right has failed on issue after issue, and we ran, frankly, a rotten campaign. If you're a conservative, you looked at the presidential campaign, with all due respect to Mitt Romney, and he should have won, and he lost. He didn't fight hard enough. He didn't fight substantively enough. God bless him. And I think a lot of the people thought, well, wait a second. How are we, how are we continuing with this administration, which, personalities aside, has failed the middle class of this country? Mm -hmm. And so people right now look at Washington, and they think, well, wait a second. Who's speaking for me? And so they saw that guy, Ted Cruz, get up, and they said, well, yeah, maybe some people think he's brash, and some people think he's all about Ted. But he's speaking for me, and I like that. Sure. That touched a nerve for a lot of Americans. Okay. And, and yesterday, in fact, uh, Ted Cruz said that uh, he would go ahead and donate his salary for every day of the shutdown, you know, to charity. So that's a, the great thing. You know, but how many uh, news outfits did you actually hear no, that of, on? Of not course many because, not. Because the, the mainstream media, for the most part, and we were looking at the uh, New York. Da did you see the Daily News today here in New York? I mean, they're clearly putting the blame. Well, what, but what did we on think was going to happen? But, what, but that's Boehner John, knows that's that. John Boehner. Let me just right say here. do people actually believe that the Republicans are, are going to s uh, sit there and keep the government shut down for two weeks? I don't. I don't. I think it's a matter of time before the Republicans say, okay. And Harry Reid gets exactly what he wants. Harry right. Reid believes he has all the leverage here because, because right now, liberal Republicans and Democrats right. basically run the U.S. But, Congress. Well, but they're using liberal this. Republicans and Democrats run the U.S. Congress. But right now, you would have to say this. They're using this as an opportunity to beat up on the Tea Party beyond the shutdown. It's not the Tea Party's fault. Is, but, but, yeah. but regardless, that's just Harry Reid. Of course. Extremist, extortionist. That's what they'll do. That's not to Peter King. Right. That's to say Ted of Cruz. Of course. That's, that's, uh, the, the effort to demonize the Tea Party again is, is, is so predictable. Of course they were going to do this. Mm -hmm. That really doesn't bother me because I think most people, when they're watching this, it is really a pox on both of their houses. Both parties have failed the American middle class. And Manhattan is kind of insulated for the most part from this. Washington is, is as well. Most people are really hurting in this country. Mm -hmm. Patient-centered health care, as Betsy McCoy has so beautifully laid out mm -hmm. today, is gone in this country if we allow Obamacare to be the law of the land and be fully implemented as it exists right now. And that's why the Republicans made and that that's, last stand. And that's why they're fighting. Stand. But if they people tried. think that the Republicans are going to allow the government to be shut down until Harry Reid caves, I just don't believe that's going to happen. they don't have the leverage. They don't have the leverage. They don't have the numbers yet. They need to get the numbers. The debt ceiling, they could get the They, they could, could get it. Leverage. But David Vitter, and, and, and everyone watching has to understand this, what David Vitter has done with trying to remove the Washington exemption, mm -hmm. right. they all get a sweetheart deal in Obamacare. The Supreme Court, Congress, and a lot of other uh, special interest groups get, get total exemptions or subsidies. 
The American people should realize that the Senate, Democrats in the Senate, do not want to strip that out. They want to get special treatment. That tells you all you need to know about where Washington really is. Special treatment for Washington, and the rest of you, you're on your own. Good luck in those exchanges. I got a feeling that topic's going to come up uh, next election. Oh, I'm going down into the basement <laughs> right now to yeah. do my radio yeah. show. Yeah. Slide me some food we on the table. You're fired up. How many days this lasts? I don't think long. I think three within, days. Through the week. Under five. a week. Under I'm a going week. Five. Under a week. Okay. Listen.